How do you sort out the so-called jargon from real-world practices that work? Do the members of your organization find some business or technology advice utterly confusing? Welcome to Real Talk with Sam Holzman. In this program, we set the record straight and in terms that business people and technology people can understand. Now, here is your host, Sam Holzman. Welcome to this edition of Real Talk. Thanks for joining me. I'm Sam Holzman. And today's topic is the very important number seven. This may sound like a very strange topic to you, but it has to do with the following. So let me start with the conclusion, and then we'll come back uh, to some of the logic behind this. And uh, the number seven is the number that people that study uh, human understanding, human behavior, uh, comprehension, et cetera, et cetera, have now pretty much uh, agreed on is the number of times that someone needs to hear something to make it stick or get an understanding of what it is, something related to that type of suggestion, unfortunately, in the world we're in today. And I'm chuckling because what happened was something recently that really brought this home. And then, of course, we'll talk about it as far as in the world of enterprise and business architecture. And that has to do with uh, our own family. And we've been blessed with uh, four grandchildren. And uh, it's a little bit different world out there now. Uh, with the bombardment and media bombardment that they see. And this has to do, once again, with the concept of the number seven. So one day, uh, we have uh, twin seven-year-old boys, uh, grandsons. They went to their mom, and they said the following, Mom, do you need this XYZ medication for your memory? I'm not going to mention the XYZ medication, but I think you know what it is. It is on television continually. It is on the radio continually. Why would a seven-year-old, possibly for a number of reasons, bring that to his mom's attention? But I thought it was interesting. Now, if that wasn't enough, we've also been blessed with a couple of granddaughters. Uh, One is 12 and one is nine. And recently, testing this little hypothesis here and all of this media bombardment, uh, we're sitting around the, the table, and I turned the television on on purpose, which is something we tend not to have at dinner time. And uh, I was sort of watching off the corner of my eye. The sound was down until a commercial came on. And the commercial had a music background and singing associated with it. And I said to the girls, I said, does that sound familiar? And they started singing the commercial word for word. I tried not to smile or say anything else, and I, I just looked. And then I waited a little while longer, and I did the same thing again. And they thought it was a, a neat little game. Here's what I said. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Not because of the commercials, but because how this was embedded in all four of their brains. And so, of course, I started looking at some previous work and research that we did, and lo and behold, not only have they experienced it seven times, but probably 17 or 70 times. Now, why is this important to us? Why would we think if we bring to our stakeholders an enterprise architecture or business architecture artifact and say, here you go, that they're going to, quote, get it. They're not going to get it. I can also reinforce that with a client of ours where one of the internal architects said to me, all she does now is to say, I said it once, I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to say it again. (laughs) I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to say it again. I think that was seven. The point is, for you and I, please recognize 
that when we throw something at people out of context, they're busy. If they're business people or executives or managers, and all of a sudden we say, hey, look at this great architectural artifact we built. We cannot expect them on that first encounter to not only not possibly appreciate it, but understand it. So please remember that number seven. Let's not get frustrated. Let's use this as a lever point to recognize what we have to do to actually change behavior and get an attention for something that's so important, like enterprise and business architecture. I hope this helps you as you move forward. And of course, this is something that we've been discussing in our soft skills for enterprise and business architects workshop. Because of this, we recognize that that human condition in today's world of being bombarded continually with, I'll use the phrase very loosely, information, the actions we have to take. Hopefully this will help you as you move forward. Thanks for listening. Thank you for tuning in to Real Talk. Be sure to join your host, Sam Holzman, again for another edition of our program. We'll have more real topics of discussion then.